Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Decoupaging with Michelle. So today we're going to be decoupaging um, some canvas bags, a little uh, different than what I would normally do. You know, I might always decoupage the jars, uh, but I want to show you that, you know, you can really decoupage anything. And so I'm going to be do, showing you guys how to decoupage a napkin on these little canvas bags. Um, I have a couple samples here that I've made that are, are really kind of pretty cool. Um, here's one, and they're just the normal canvas bags. I think I got these canvas bags at Hobby Lobby. Um, and this was just a, an extra napkin, extra section of a napkin that I had. I think that, that's like the cherry blossoms. I think that's so pretty. There's that one. And again, I had this cool napkin, random design. Couldn't really put this on a jar. So I thought, you know, to put it on something else, and, and it worked really well for these bags. Um, these bags come in a variety of sizes. So the bigger size, here's kind of the medium size. Um, you see, this was a napkin um, that wasn't, you know, it's, it was a probably a um, beverage napkin, so it wasn't wide enough. So sometimes you can center those pictures, and then they these come in, in an even smaller one. And I don't know if you can tell on camera, but this actually has some glitter. So when I sealed it, before I sealed it, the last uh, layer of Mod Podge I put on was the glitter Mod Podge. And so... Um, that kind of adds some a little pizzazz. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get going and show you guys how to do this. It's a pretty easy process, you guys. Not not really a lot to it, um, but I hopefully you guys will will, will um, be able to do these. And really, you can you can do this these on on anything, uh, any sort of canvas. So this is just to give you an idea. So this is just a plain canvas bag uh, that I got from Hobby Lobby. Now what you want to do is you want to make an insert. So I made these uh, these inserts. It's cardboard. Or it's a, I think a Dollar Tree card, the, the uh, poster board. And then I wrap it in parchment paper. And we do that because we're going to be doing the iron-on method. And so uh, we want to make sure that the stuff inside doesn't stick together. Um, as you iron it, as you put lots of Mod Podge. And I had cut, cut my paper to fit perfectly in there. So they fit all the way to the top. Now I know that the inside of that's going to be protected. So this is a, a fairly lengthy process. It will take a couple days for you to do just because there's several layers of Mod Podge that you have to apply. Um, but it's a pretty easy process, quite frankly. Um, so we're going to start with the fabric Mod Podge. Um, this is really nice because when you um, use these, put them on these napkins, they're very pliable so I can take my napkin you know my, my canvas bag and I can wrinkle it up in a ball and it's perfectly fine so you want to use the fabric mod podge for that um, flexibility and so all I do you want to you know what to put a generous uh, coat on and I'm used just my regular I think I've got this brush at Dollar General um, I have a smaller brush it has a little bit of um, Kind of a, a hard bristle because I want to be able to go into the edges uh, of the seams of these with that. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, and this is this is a the, the crux of of this whole project. And you just want to again you can't you can't put too much of this on because you're actually going to put two coats of this on. So what I do is I'll put a, a coat on um, the entire bag, and I just go to the very edge here. This this side does not have a seam, so it's just the kind of the edge of the bag. So I try to make sure that my I just stay along that edge, and I brush in, and uh, the, you know the on the top. You, like I don't like to get mine on the zipper part, so I just make sure I get my Mod Podge right to that crease. Um, but really I just want to get, you see I get a pretty generous amount of Mod Podge on here and I'm just going to kind of go down, down the edges, go over and, um, and I'll do this entire bag like that. And it, and it's, a, and I don't know if you can see on camera, but it's actually a pretty, um, you can actually, I mean, it's, it's pretty well, um, covered there. And so, uh, so I'll do the whole bag like that. And I was going to show you how I do the edges. Sometimes it's hard to get these big brushes in these edges. 
So what I'll do is I'll take this smaller, more hard uh, bristled brush and I'll just kind of go on this side of the seam. And I don't want to get any on the other side. And this makes it really easy be because we are doing the iron-on method. Um, your napkin's only going to stick to where you put the Mod Podge. So uh, be, be, be mindful where you put the Mod Podge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an entire coat of this. I'll let that dry um, at least four or five hours. I tend to like to do mine for a day. And then I'll come back the next day and I put another entire layer of Mod Podge, just like the first one. Let that completely dry. So once that dries, you're ready to, to apply um, apply the napkin. So I have two of them that I'm going to do today. I'm pretty excited. I think these are going to be really cool. So this is a, this is a bag that I've already applied two um, coats of the Fabric Mod Podge 2. And for this one, um, let me get my station set up here. So, because we are going to be using a little iron, I always put a little towel down here, and this just protects my my table that I'm working on. And so, the napkin that I'm the design I want to use for this is is going to be a fall one. I thought that this would be really cool, and so it's going to overlap the edges, which is exactly what I want it to do. Um, let me just lay this out here. I think that's going to look fantastic, you guys. So. This is the full napkin. I'm going to see if I can separate it here. I often joke that sometimes the separation of the plies is the most challenging part of doing Mod Podge. I'm just going to gently pull these apart. And I actually save my um, plies that I tear off. I usually use them for cleaning or if I need a cleanup brush or something. So, um, that might be cute on, cute on a little one of these little ones. Um, I might, I might have to save that and do a little one. But I thought this owl would be cute for, um, for the fall. So I'm going to make sure that we're on here. And so already, it already kind of sticks to it. So I'm going to just, I can see where I want that to lay out. I want that to kind of go over the edge there. I might pull that up just a scotch. So, uh, get this lined up how you want it. I think that is kind of cool. I did want my, my, my owl a little off-centered there. I think that's perfect. Okay. So then what I'm going to do, I'm gonna do is I actually have... Um, I'm going to cover this with parchment paper. So I just cut a little piece of parchment paper off. I double mine up just because sometimes I... The iron gets really hot, and I use uh, just a simple little the Cricut crafting iron, itty bitty. It cranks out some heat, so it definitely gets hot. So let me just make sure I like this layout here. What I think I'm going to do first. I, there's a wrinkle in my napkin that I'm not liking. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually iron my my napkin first. Let me see if I can get some of these wrinkles out. So sometimes when at the top of the bag where the zipper's at, it can get a little tricky. So I want to make sure that my napkin is um, there. Now I iron, I iron the majority of that crease out. I'm happy with that. I'm going to realign this up again. I think it's going to be perfect. Make sure that that's... I have my window open and the wind keeps blowing my uh, my napkin. I just want to make sure I, I have enough at the bottom. Okay, there we go. i leave it like that. I'll put my parchment on here. And then I'm just going to iron this really, really well. I'm going to make sure I get all parts of that canvas bag ironed on here. I'm actually going to open this up. 
whatever reason that's moving around. So I'm just going to do a single ply of the parchment there. And I'm just going to take my time, get up of that zipper really, really well. Go down, make sure I get around the edges as much as I can. And what this does is when we when we do this napkin, uh, we, we do the iron-on method, it's simply reactivating the Mod Podge. The Mod Podge has dried, and this is just going to reactivate it. So it's kind of, kind of fun. And just take your time doing that. Again, I'm going to go up by the zipper because uh, sometimes that lip is always a little challenging. And then I, I always take my iron and I go around the edges because I have a, uh, this Mod Podge around the, 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 the curve of the bag. I'm going to do this one. Alrighty. Let's take a look at this. You just want to kind of look at it. You can make sure it's adhered. Um, I always like to try to pull my corners back, make sure there's no place else that I have some place in the corners that may not have, have gotten stuck very well. That looks pretty good. I think I might do... I see that zipper part looks really good. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to do a little more heating here on this side. Let's get my... Make sure I get my parchment paper. I'm going to... There's this top part that didn't adhere very well. Okay, that should do it, you guys. So it looks very smooth. Pretty happy with that. No wrinkles, no bubbles. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is um, we want to edge this off. And so there's a couple different ways that you can do that. Um, so what I'm going to do for the bottom is I'm just going to get some fabric Mod Podge and I'll wrap that around. But I need to trim the rest of these off. So I'm going to use the, just get the napkin wet and tear it. I think that's going to be the best, the uh, best bet here. So I'm going to get my little my water bottle. And uh, I just want to really take my time on this because I, I don't want to cut in too much. Um, but I, I want to cut in enough so that I can put it in that crease nicely. See, I just kind of pull that apart. Tear that up there. I'm gonna, I can tell how much I need to put in that crease, and so I'm just gonna, while it's wet, I'm just gonna pull this apart. And see, then what happens is then when I go to put that in the crease, look how nicely that's gonna go in that crease. See? And then I'll, I'll get some of that Fabric Mod Podge and I'll seal this up really, really well. And this just gives a really nice, clean edge. If you cut it too short, you're not able to do that. So I'm gonna do that up here. Uh, along the zipper can be a little more challenging. So I just take my, my watered down brush and just go along the top of that. Um, some people cut these. You can cut these this short. Let me put some more water in here. Some people cut these um, so it's straight across. That works. Um, I always like to do this this soft edging because I can pull it apart and uh, I can set it down into the seam pretty nicely. Generally, I'll go all the way across there. So even though it looks kind of, so I'm going to get that a little more wet here. Even though this looks, um, the edging looks kind of rough here. I'm going to pull this back. Um, what I can do is I'll get my, my brush. I have to wait for the napkin to dry. And I can push this down. There's a little bit of a seam here. I can push that frayed bit down in that seam again, like I did when doing the side. And that will hide any of the edges. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I 
I think this this uh this is definitely a project of um you have to have patience. Um any part of decoupage, but I think particularly this, um, just because it's, this is not very forgiving. You know, we decoupage on jars. There's a lot of things we can do uh, to fix it and to cover our errors, and that makes it a little more forgiving. This, not so forgiving. So you really want to take your time with this. Uh, I'd rather leave too much and be able to trim it back later than to take too than, than to take too much and not be able to um, fix it. So again, this I'm going to be able to put this back on the seam. I do have to let this napkin dry, so this is still wet. And I can't mod podge uh, the edges of that when it's wet, so I'm going to wait for that to dry, but I have another one I'm going to do. Now this is a, 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 ba a purse. Um, again, I got this canvas purse at Hobby Lobby. And um, I made a little insert, it's a little insert that goes, has parchment paper, so now the six together. I'm gonna try to put that cord out of my way. So this one, I thought I'd put that cool pumpkin face on there, you guys. That was very Halloween-ish. So let me take this ply off. It came out pretty easy. I might have to iron it. I'm going to actually iron this napkin real fast. So this napkin has some seams where it folded. Um, when it, because it came in a, a nap, just a normal napkin with four, um, four designs on this, you know, on the, on the dinner napkin. I'm going to have to lay this out a little differently. I'm going to move this here real fast. Oh, sometimes I think I just need a big old workbench like I have in my garage. Um, but I want to get this because I'm, I'm, I'm going to need every bit of this napkin. I might end up cutting that off. Yeah, I think we're good. Sometimes it's just, you just got to, again, this is where the patience comes in. Um, there we go. That pushed out. There we go. And sometimes too, I don't know about you, but I have um, tons of napkins, and I store them in uh, in a bin. I put, I you know, line them up and put them in a bin. But sometimes that's not enough. Um, sometimes they can still get creases in them and crinkly. Um, so. Just want to make sure our napkins are as good as they can be before we we get going on the project. So I think that's pretty good. All right. Um, so let me put the, the purse back here. So I just thought this would be kind of a cool, fun Halloween purse. Um, gonna line that up. So it's definitely wide enough. It's not quite long enough for the entire back. So I'm gonna kind of center that where it's just under the seam of the zipper and just above the end of the bag there. I think that looks really good. I like how that looks. So I'm gonna grab my parchment paper. And then I'm just gonna make sure, you always wanna make sure your entire project is covered with the parchment paper. Uh, there's nothing worse than getting um, Mod Podge on your iron because <laughs> it will melt and stick to it. So I'm just going to iron this on, much like I did the last bag. Just take your time going around the edges. Just kind of work your way over. So you can also, on my own, I'll tell you a, a couple of things I've done with this before. I've actually been able to do this same method on a canvas, a picture canvas. Like from the Dollar Tree, they have their little canvases. Um, I, I, print, I can print my own. I print a lot of my own images. So I do a lot of custom stuff. So I could, you know, someone would send me a picture and uh, I can put that picture on a canvas. Um, 
using the same method. You know, two two um, coats of fabric mod podge. Put your picture over it, and then um, iron it on. And so that looks really good, you guys. Uh, I think I need to do. I need to. I have to go up and touch that up a little bit at the top. That didn't get it. Again, because you always want to go before you finish. Go over. Make sure all your your edges and your seams are adhered. So I'm going to go up here just a little bit more. And sometimes it's really hard to maneuver around these zippers when you're ironing. Um, so you really have to, I always call it contort yourself. You know, it's like kind of have to hold this, this iron in some weird positions. And that's really just to make sure that I get up on the curve of that zipper. Um, and that this is just sticking really, really well. Okay, that should be good. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna do the same thing, you guys. I'm going to do a soft um, edging on here. Let me get my, my brush wet. <clears throat> now I only have to do the soft edging on, of course, two sides. Um, because the top and the bottom uh, don't need it. They're already on there. So I'm just going to pull that away. Now this is nice. This bag has really nice deep seams. So I was able to really just kind of lay my napkin over, get my, my, my wet brush, and just push it in there. And it's actually will get it wet. Um... In there so I only have to pull off so it makes it really easy to pull off and then when I'm what's what's left is already gonna I know it's gonna fit in there really nicely because I did it when I was putting it oh sorry about the train you guys I don't live too far from a railroad track all right so the next step on these is I'm going to uh, let uh, this let this cool it's still pretty hot um, I'm gonna let those those napkin edges dry out because uh, they are a little bit wet then I'm going to go back in with my mat my uh, fabric Mod Podge and I'm going to uh, let me see if let me see if uh, maybe these ones are dry yeah I can do it with this so I'm gonna take my my little solid brush um, my hard bristled brush I'm just gonna go in here and touch that up I want to make sure that that is um, well protected in there, well covered with Mod Podge. Um, and then, then I'll let this dry. Um, and I, this one I will let dry for 24 hours. Some of you guys can see that when you see so that makes it a really nice straight edge tucked in that seam. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to let it let it dry for 24 hours, and then I'm going to go in tomorrow, and I will do a second coat of the fabric Mod Podge. Just this is extra uh, protectant. Um, then you're going to let that dry for 24 hours. And then after that completely dries, you're going to go in with your final sealant. Um, and what I use to seal my, my bags is uh, this sealant called DuraClear. I use this for all my projects. I find that it just gives a really nice uh, finished uh, finished look. It's what I've used on my, my other bags. You can see it has that nice sheen to it um, it's durable it protects the design um, so I, I have a bag I've used that I made they've used for over a year and it's it's no issues at all um, so you know, doing the, the last two steps is really important um, 
So I'm going to go in and I'm going to, I'll take my time and, and wrap this edge around here. Um, and so these will be my two fall bags that I'll, that I'll be able to use this year. Kind of fun. Mr. Ogly and Mr. Pumpkinhead. Um, so again, you're going to get your canvas bag. You're going to do two coats of your fabric Mod Podge. After those completely dry, you're going to you're going to let those dry between each coat. Um, after the second coat dries, you're going to get your design of choice. Um, use your iron. Make sure you have your parchment paper, and you're going to iron on your design. Um, once uh, once you do your edging and everything is cooled off, and more importantly, the napkins have dried, you're going to go in and do a third layer of Mod Podge. It's the first one over the design. Um, and then after that completely dries, you're going to go in with your sealant, which is your, uh, I use DuraClear. You can use whatever sealant works for you. Let that dry. Once that dry, you guys are good to go with these really cool back designs. So I hope that you liked what you saw today. That is helpful and make sure that you go out and, um, try some of these new projects. As always, I love to see what you guys are, are making. So if you would like to share anything, would love to see it. Uh, just go ahead and, and put it in the post. All right, guys. Remember, if you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button. Decoupaging with Michelle.